Hi everyone, <clears throat> Stepan here. I have the black pieces in this one, and my opponent is rated over 2400, so that's nice. I don't think I've played many 2400s. And he goes for knight c3, okay, I'm just gonna go d5, see what he does. I'm expecting d4 and either the Richter, okay. I'm already confused. Uh, this is the Karo Khan, I'm going to say, if I go c6. So I'm just gonna go c6. If he goes knight f3, it's the two knights? Yeah, okay. So we have transposed to the Karo Khan via some weird move order. Okay, he plays d3, so he probably wants the line with g4 and uh, bishop d2 castles queenside. Which is the line I like playing against the least. I honestly... yeah, ah, why does he go for that? Okay, knight f6, g4, h6, castles queenside, bishop b4, a3. I think I take on c3 or play bishop a5. Okay, yeah, let me just check if everything is okay. I think everything should be okay with the video. Okay, so I'm pretty sure bishop b4 is the move here. But he should have played g4, h6. Hmm. I mean, this is where my bishop belongs. That much is certain. And I've played one tournament game in this line uh, against Carlo Luciani in Arco last year. Okay, so I'm not really sure I want to go kingside just yet. I want to see what he does. Uh, Queen c7 seems normal. But he may have knight d5 there. <coughs> or he definitely has knight d5 if I play queen c7. Now if I go d4, knight e2, bishop d2 e5 I need to watch out for knight d5 knight d5 is already a threat I sort of like a5 but that's committing also, he, he may have queen g3. But I'm gonna go a5, because a5 protects my bishop. So there is no knight d5. And if he goes queen g3, I think I can just go rook g8 and keep my king in the center because castling kingside is extremely dangerous here. He goes g4 now, I'm gonna go h6. So we have transposed, but he played this two moves later than is normal in the variation.
Okay, so he is preparing to play g5 and f4. Man, I hate playing against this variation. It's always scary. I actually don't know what to do. So d4, knight e2, e5, f4, c5, f5, knight e5, seems okay. d4, knight e2, e5, g5 takes, queen takes, I do have rook g8. I also have... No, no, I don't have knight e4. Okay, I'm gonna go for d4 because I want to grab some space. If he plays f4... I think I take on, on d2 first and then play c5. Okay, I'm gonna take on d2 to make sure that on g5 He still wants to play f4, so I think I go queen c7 here. Queen c7, g5, I have knight h5. And if takes, then rook takes. And if queen g4, I have g6. I just need to be playing against f4. If he activates with f4, then I'm in trouble. Okay, g6. If bishop h3, I castle queen side. For the moment, I've sort of stopped his advance on the king side yeah th this is probably very sensible uh, the question is do I go knight f4 or do I trade because if I go knight f4 he has h5 immediately and I cannot allow h5 so I think I have to trade If he takes with the queen, I can take on g5. If he takes with the pawn, I'm playing h5. Hmm. 
the main thing I have to stop is h5. These games are very strategically complex, these positions. Okay. He took with the pawn. <clears throat> so now there's going to be pressure on f7. And I still have to keep preventing h5. So I think I have to go h5 myself. And now he has g4 as a pawn break after queen f3. So I need to reroute my knight. I think knight c5 is correct. Knight c5, g4 takes, queen takes. I have queen d7, knight c5, rook f2, rook f8. Followed by castle's queen side. His bishop is still kind of bad, but as soon as I go knight c5, he's going bishop h3. Still, I am going to go knight c5. I'm expecting bishop h3 because if he allows me to castle, it's going to be much easier to defend. And I shouldn't disregard knight a4, queen b6. Okay. He does play bishop h3. So I cannot allow knight e6, bishop e6. So I should probably go queen e7 first. Queen e7... Yeah, but then he could triple up. <clears throat> okay, but that seems okay. I'm gonna go queen e7. Queen e7, rook f2. Rook f8, rook f1, knight e6. Seems to work. Okay, knight e6, bishop e6, queen e6. Okay, I actually don't have to keep defending. Why am I so worried about my position? I can just start attacking. He's gonna go g4, but so what? I simply want to go knight a4 
and queen b4 where if he plays b3 I have knight c3 check if king a1 queen a3 leads to mate if king c1 knight a2 and also b4 is a useful move because I have rook a7 But now I realize that I've undefended my c6 pawn and he has a square on f6. So this was positionally really bad. b5 is a big mistake. He can just go queen c6. Yeah, he can just go queen c6. I should have played knight a4. B5 was such a bad move. <clears throat> I just gave up the most important point in my position and the weakest point. On bishop c8 I still have rook b6 but my position is not good anymore.
B5 was a very instructive mistake. And once again, I see that I made a mistake when I see it on the board. Why couldn't I figure out that C6 is going to be weak before playing B5? I could have simply continued Knight A4. Now I need to switch to something like A4, B4, B3 to weaken the D3 pawn. Because that's the th th this is the pawn I now have to undermine. So if I can get my pawns here, push b3, force him to play c3, and then take on d3, then we're talking. But I'm still a long way away from that. And now he has broken through. And I don't see a way to prevent it, so... I don't know what to do. I could go queen e6, winning the pawn, and then queen takes, knight takes, gh5, knight f4, and if bishop g4 I take. So I'm gonna go for that, because I'm already lost. So, for the price of one pawn, blocking these two rooks seems like a good idea. He of course does have queen f3, which is a big problem. But at least there I'm preventing g6. The main issue is that in all of these lines, my rook is hanging. This is why I wanted to go knight f4. And now my knight is preventing g6 and simply blocking out the rooks. He plays bishop c8. I cannot do anything about it. I need to go rook b6.
Okay, he wants to go h5. And I need to be defending both the h8 square and my f7 pawn. But I don't see how. But I could always on h5 just ignore it and play f takes g6. And finally start attacking. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go c5 and and start my own attack. <clears throat> if he plays h5, I'm ignoring it. Again, the, the problem is my loose rook and my loose f7 pawn, so if h5 pawn takes, bishop takes, knight takes, he can just play... Uh... Wait, actually, my, my rook is now defending here, maybe I can take the pawn. So c5 actually served the double purpose. I'm not sure, I mean, I, I'm worse and I'm a pawn down, but I, I don't see how he breaks through if he doesn't have h5. And c4 is coming, I mean, c4 is very scary. Because he has to take it. Unless he has rook, f, uh, rook c1, threatening rook c7. Yes, he, he does have rook c1 on c4. Okay, I'm going c4. I want to go c3 and then I want to go a4, b4 to open up lines. Of course I don't want to lose a pawn, I also don't want to take on d3. 
taking on d3 is just bad. I open up the c file for him. But before playing c3, I need to go a4 to prevent b3. So I go a4, c3, he takes, I take with the rook. He could go A4 here. But then I think I take on D3. Okay, so I've decided to simply ignore this. And I think that's okay. Because I cannot allow his g pawn to move, or can I? No, no, no. I'm just ignoring that. I'm going a4 and then I'm going c3. I'm not interested in winning his h pawn. I'm just interested in blocking his rooks out of the game. Okay. <clears throat> Now we can see why it was important to play a4, because otherwise he had b3. I don't know why he gave up the exchange, I don't think that was necessary. And we're both getting short on time now.
Yeah, he should have given up the exchange. I don't see what he has for that. Now I'm not sure whether I take with the pawn or with the rook. He wants to play bishop d5, bishop e4. So I need to prevent that, force him to play rook e4. I cannot allow d4. Sorry for not talking.
I think I have to go for a draw. I mean, if he plays d6, I have to take it. He wants to play bishop e3. That's a good move. He has bishop e3. Okay, he didn't play bishop e3. He needs to play bishop e3. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know how to evaluate this position. I would say that I'm losing, but again, then again, I'm not sure. Because he never has c6. Ah, now he has c6. So I need to chase the king away. No, then he has c6 again. I think I need to go from behind. Wow!
I need to be able to sacrifice this pawn. Uh, to sacrifice my rook for this pawn. Yeah, I think it should be a draw. I don't see how he make progress makes progress. He wants to go bishop c4. But he needs to watch out. If he goes bishop c4 now, I can just take it. And queen. I think I may have won now. I think he messed up by pinning his bishop. <laughs> yes! Okay, it, it was a draw. It was a draw. It should have been a draw, but then he pinned his bishop. I think this is winning. Because whatever he does, I just take and queen. Okay, wow! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I just spat all over my laptop. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, first let's see the theory. He had six blunders, I had six blunders, Jesus. Okay, the two knights. Now in this position, it's way more common to play g4 first, as I hope you can see on the screen. g4 is just normal. Wait, okay, let's, let's see, a5 is already a mistake. I should go d4 immediately. Okay, I need to take the bishop first. Well, let me just respond in the chat because everybody is talking about the game. Okay, uh, g5, knight h5, g6. Knight c5 is the mistake. I just need to push with a4. Castles? 
Okay, this this is a move I would never consider because of g4. This seems incredibly risky. Yeah, and, and just b5 is just dreadful. Queen e6, he just gives up the bishop. Wow. Yeah, okay. But now it's once I got my knight to f4. So I should have just taken. Why is c3 bad? White is still winning. But apparently not after taking the a4 pawn. Yeah, and now it should be a draw. The point is that if he ever plays d6, I can just grab the pawn. Wait, what? How is rook h7 a draw? Ah, because now he cannot make progress. Oh, I just blundered my rook? Oh, I didn't see this. <laughs> okay, okay, I... I Yeah, and once he pins his bishop, it's over. <sighs> Wait, let me just respond in the chat now. Okay, th this was a wild game. I'm going to analyze this uh, this afternoon. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more chess. Bye-bye.